What's up all of my horror fanatics out there? Welcome back. I'm the Jay Sloan and I'm back here to do another video for you guys today. Today's date is November 20th, 2019 and I'm back here with my mail time number 22, I believe. It's either going to be titled mail time number 22 or horror time number 22. There's going to be a, a slight change in titles uh, with like certain videos and with the mail time videos uh, going into the new year. Um, there's going to be a few differences actually with the Jay Sloan channel. Um, that uh, I'll talk more about in an information video that'll be coming soon, I'd say within the next week or so. Just going over some differences and uh, some changes and um, hopefully changes for the better um, regarding the, the channel throughout uh, 2020. Um, so, yeah, really happy to finally have this package in. I've been waiting on it. Um, I ordered the Cavity Colors order and this order at the same time, so that's basically all I have coming in the mail as for now. So, Mail time videos are going to be, um, you know, cut short over the next little little bit. But uh, this is a pretty big haul, and I'm excited to have it. It's coming from Diabolic DVD. Um, obviously, you've seen them on my channel before. I've, I've bought from them, I think, twice before, and I've had uh, nothing but good experiences with that company and that side. I think that uh, really it's one of the best places to go, especially for, for certain things that you can't find. Um, you know, things from the UK and, and Germany and places like that that it's just harder to find, really, media books especially. So, yeah, this is a pretty big haul. I don't know how they fit it all in this box, to be honest, but um, I guess they did, and I'm sure it's packaged well and there's no damage or anything, but without further ado, I'm not going to take up any more of your time. Let's dive in and see what is inside the box. So first up here, out of the box, we have the newer Scorpion release of the 1980 slasher film Terror Train, starring Jamie Lee Curtis, Ben Johnson, and yes, David Copperfield. Um, I've always really, really enjoyed this slasher. Honestly, I just think it's fucking fun. Uh, the setting on the train, or the overall setting on the train, um, the theatrics and disguises of the killer really set it aside from a lot of those early 80s slashers and the mold that they were trying to set. I think this one had a lot of... Uh, interesting and a, and a different kind of unique premise to the slasher and i think it executed on most of the points and maybe it lacked on some but it's still very original uh you've got you know jamie lee curtis in an earlier row she had had halloween prom night terror train um and she really kind of molded the shape for what um no pun intended she really molded the shape for what other scream queens would try to follow in years to come some were successful and some weren't but i've always really dug uh, this uh, this film and I really like the the release as well from Scream Factory. I just had to throw this in here because it's it's a really really nice release. One of their earlier ones. I think this one's actually out of print. I don't know. I think the slip cover is for sure, but I don't know if the release itself is. But um, it is old though. It's several years old and there, there's not too many special features. Um, so it, if you love the film like I do, it's definitely worth an upgrade because it has a 2K transfer. Um, it also has um, new interviews, I believe, with the director and the writer, as well as some other special features that were not included on the Scream Factory um, edition, plus a cool new slipcover with artwork. You know, for some people, that's a sale in itself. So this disc here, I'm not really sure, to be honest with you, that I was why this came uh, in the in the box um because it doesn't look like a special features disc i don't think it's a two disc set it could be um but i don't really know we're gonna dive in and look unless it's just a blu-ray itself but that really wouldn't make any sense unless the copy was used it, yeah i'm a little confused but we're about to find out guys i'm gonna go ahead and open this up and then we'll take a closer look okay so i've already opened it up and switched the artwork around which i, I love that artwork um, very simple, but very cool. On the back there, some steel, synopsis, special features. Uh, steel not loaded, um, as you can see. But if you want to compare, there are the special features for um, for the uh, Scorpion release as opposed to the Scream Factory release. Uh, but I want to take a, a closer look here at the slipcover because I love this image. Um, it's kind of like a, a purplish uh, pink there at the top, like a mist. Um, really cool. You know me, guys. I'm a sucker for the collage style images and really love that. All aboard if you dare. There is the back of that one with a few different images on it. So, 
really cool. And I want to see this side. First, I want to show you guys. There's the Blu-ray disc. Okay. Um, so I knew this wasn't a two-disc set. Um, and I could be completely wrong, but I, this is the exact same disc. So I'm a little confused if they, why they sent me an extra copy of this. Um, this is not a special features disc. Uh, I, I don't know. But I don't know if they did it by mistake. But I guess there are two um, two copies of Terror Train uh, in this um, in this mail time video. It's a little odd. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and close this up and show you guys the post real quick. It'd be a little easier if I do a quick cut, so that's what I'm gonna do. So here is the poster itself. It's smaller poster, um, but still cool. It will be cool to have up in the room somewhere. Um, just because I love the image so much. And, uh, yeah, it's not reversible, so this is what you get. But it's still, like I said, it's a really cool set. Um, if you don't have Terror Train already and you're looking for a way to get this, I believe it was less than $30 on Diabolic DVD. It comes with a slip. You may even get an extra copy, um, and it comes with a poster as well. And pretty cool special features, new, uh, new 2K transfer. Um, if you have, if you already have this one, I would still say it's worth an upgrade if you're a fan of the film. So that is the uh, the first Blu-ray um, within this mail time video. Let's look at the uh, the next thing that I received. So next up here is a slasher from 1976, and it is Alice, Sweet Alice. And uh, this is one that I've known about for at least 10 years, and I've never got around to watching it. It kind of it's flown under a lot of people's radar, and it's received. Um, numerous amounts of, of praise and love from a lot of different horror fans. Everybody that I've ever heard talk about Alice Sweet Alice says this film is subtle, it's suspenseful, and it's very, very underrated. I don't know why I've not got around to checking it out yet, but that's going to change now that i got the new Arrow uh, release of it. Well, it's not new, but it's new to me. And, uh, yeah, really cool artwork there. I love that. I know there's a couple other releases. There's one from 88 Films. Um, I just decided to go with the Arrow release for now. Um, 88 Films is a whole other uh, kind of collection that I want to get into, but that's going to take some time. Uh, but really cool imagery there. Love that. I love the yellow background there. See Alice, sweet Alice, loaded with special features, man. If you if you want a release um, that has loads and loads of special features that will literally take you hours and hours to sort through and watch, go with an Arrow release because they, in my opinion, um, rival Screen Factory pretty well. The Arrow is probably one of my favorite companies, if not my favorite. Uh, yeah, the the one thing that I do about do know about the movie, I'm sorry, is that it does um, for a short time star Brooke Shields. So, but yeah, tons of special features there, guys. Really excited to check this one out. There's not much more to say other than I can't wait to watch it. And once I do, I'll uh, do a review for it, and I guess I'll uh, cut right now and show you guys what the uh, the inside of the packaging looks like. So here it is, fully unpackaged with the reversible artwork already switched. If you survive this night, nothing will scare you again. Alice, sweet Alice, really cool imagery there. Love that. There's the spine in the back. And I love the artwork on the slipcase, man. The newly commissioned artwork, just beautiful. Um, here to the left, we have a poster, which we'll look at in a second. Um, Aero Video's catalog, they usually send one of these with every, um, with every release and a promotion for Al Pacino and Cruising. Then we have a booklet. Man, that is sick. Look at that. Open it up here. Man, I've always heard about the raincoat and the really simple, um, faceless kind of mask. Really fucking creepy. Love this image here with the knife and the, um, the blood splatter and then the reflection. Pretty cool. That's one thing, guys, that I love about Arrow. Um, they do not release bare bone releases. They're stock full of special features, different contents, booklets, posters, you name it. And uh, that's why I love the company so much. Ooh. Ooh. Man. Can't wait to watch this one, guys. There'll definitely be a review poster for this one um, to give my first initial thoughts since I've never seen it. So now we're going to take a look at the, uh, at the poster. So the only side of the poster that I want to show really is this one because on the reverse you have the 
newly commissioned artwork, which is really cool. And this, I think, is really badass. Alice, Sweet Alice, Killer Kit. Now you can be the killer you've always wanted to be. Um, got the white gloves, the knife, the raincoat, the sort of faceless mask. Fun. Seven years and up. It's just really awesome. And like I said, on the reverse side, you're just getting the newly commissioned artwork. So that is it for the release. Um, Arrow Video's release of Alice, Sweet Alice. Okay, so next up we have what is arguably um, the greatest werewolf film of all time. And I say arguably because preference does vary. Um, in my opinion, um, it goes An American Werewolf in London, uh, The Howling, Silver Bullet. Those are, you know, three that I really, really love. And uh, this one's number one, man. John Landis film from 1981 starring David Naughton and Griffin Dunn. And it is An American Werewolf in London. Say what you will about the film. I know a lot of people have said it's slower paced, and it can be. Um, but it's the story and the suspense and, and just the transformation scenes, period. The transformation scenes are, I would say, a lot of people say The Howlings is better. Um, personally, for me... Uh, that is the first time that I've ever seen a werewolf film in my life that it, I mean, it literally caused me pain to watch the scene. And when that's, when something like that can happen and it has an, not just an emotional effect, but a physical effect where you're cringing because you can feel the bones break and it's just, that's disturbing in its own way. And it's just the way they do that with the, um, the makeup effects are just insane. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to stop rambling on about the movie. Everyone knows An American Werewolf in London. And I was super hyped uh, for Arrow to release this, as well as Nightbreed. I was unable to buy Nightbreed this time, but I should be getting it uh, pretty soon. But I was I was super hyped, man, because I loved the uh, the film so much. And yeah, I, they, don't, they did not disappoint with the artwork either. I love that. Sucker for collage style imagery, and I got a lot of it with this release. And there you can see the transformation scene at the bottom, dude. That's a brutal scene, man. There you have the spine. My God, look at the limited edition contents. All of the special features, man. It's just crazy. And uh, now I think it's time to dive into uh, the release itself and see what all goodies that uh, that we uh, we got within the set. Okay, so here it is, completely unboxed, and here are all of the goodies that came inside. And I just want to say one more time, I love this imagery. Um, they they did it perfectly in my mind. It has such a cold feeling to it, but just right for what you would want for artwork for an American werewolf in London. Um, really, really cool. I've heard a few people complain about it, uh, but me personally, I, I love it. I think the collage style up at the top, then the transformation scene at the bottom, it just makes it perfect so um and i can't wait to watch the film i know it's a new 4k transfer so it might be like seeing it for the first time again uh so i can't wait to uh can't wait to pop it in and watch it um and then here we have the blu-ray release itself which has the artwork already um or the sleeve already flipped around which i always do so yep really cool it's not the artwork that i would have wanted i would have preferred the artwork um the original poster art with the um with the cat on it, which I think we're about to see here in a few minutes when we get into the poster. Um, but still really cool nonetheless from the director of Animal House, a different kind of animal. An American Werewolf in London, the monster movie. So there we have that. And then, and it's just one disc, as you can see. But loads and loads of special features. Try to fix the case. You would think that I would get a tripod by now, but that is not the case. And then we have these um, either lobby or art cards here that are really, really cool with some of the uh, the steals uh, from the film. So there we go. We're going to go through these really quick. I think they all have that image on the back too. So really cool. There's the first one. The second one, and yeah, same image on the back of every one of these. Here's from the opening in the bar. It's really cool one there. And there's the uh, the shocking realization of what's about to happen to his body in the transformation scene. Really cool to get all of these. Yeah, 
have uh, it says Dream Demon, and then more of a sort of like Explorer Classical and Art House Cinema, more of like a little promotional thing, uh, you know, stuff for uh, Arrow Video as, as far as the catalog goes and stuff like that. So really, really cool. Join the cult, it says. Then we have a huge booklet. I'm not sure the exact page count, but it's huge. We're going to breeze through this. We're not going to look at everything individually because it would take simply too long. Man, I love that image. Oh, man, it's brutal. So, I mean... You gotta be satisfied with what you get with an arrow release. Just hands down, you have to. So that's really cool. Can't wait to, to look at that a little further. Uh, and then here we have, finally, uh, the poster, which I'm gonna do a quick cut, and we're gonna look at both sides. So, yep. Okay, so here is the artwork that I, I really wanted on the flip side of the reversible sleeve, but nonetheless, got it on the poster. I've always loved that image. Um, or cat or wolf. I think I called it a cat previously, but... Wolf, if you will, really, really cool. Some blood splatter around that. An American Werewolf in London. You got the white eyes. Credits at the bottom. Really, really cool, man. And on the flip side, you have, obviously, if you want to use this, the newly commissioned artwork. Personally, I think it's badass, and I love that image. But I would, if I was going to hang it up, I would use um, this one. So... That is all of the contents within the An American Werewolf in London Arrow set. Love the film. Love the release. Cannot wait to check out the new 4K scan uh, and the transfer just to see how how much different. Like I said, it may be like watching it for the first time again. And uh, I'm excited, guys. Really excited about watching that Alice Sweet Alice Terror Train. Everything that I've received um, within this Mail Time video, I'm just excited to have and excited to rewatch. Um, we have one more thing to look at, and I'm going to go ahead and do a quick cut, and we're going to take a further look at that now. Okay, guys, so last but not least, we have Amityville, The Curse Collection. This set's coming from Vinegar Syndrome, and uh, I picked this up for a couple reasons. The first reason is a lot of the later sequels of the Amityville franchise are either out of print or very hard to find. And secondly, uh, most things that are released by Vinegar Syndrome, especially things with slipcovers and limited edition sets and things like that, tend to go out of print or, and are also hard to find within a few months. So I wanted to get this because I really am interested in checking these sequels out and I've never seen a single one of them past uh, the third film. So it's very interesting. This one comes with Amityville, uh, The Evil Escapes, Amityville 1992, It's About Time. Amityville A New Generation, and the one I've heard a lot about, Amityville Dollhouse, so, really cool. I like the box set as well, that's another reason I was like, yeah, I'll probably just go ahead and pull the trigger on this one. I'm going to do a quick cut, it'll probably be the final cut for this mail time video, and I'm going to show you all of the releases individually. Okay guys, so I think that'll be it for my mail time number 22. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really happy to have all these releases in, and uh, Diabolic DVD, if you haven't went on that side, if you haven't ordered uh, anything from them, I would definitely go check them out. Uh, if you're a horror fan, you're going to find something you want. And uh, yeah, I guess that will do it, guys. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'm the Jay Sloan, and as always, guys, keep it horror. Peace.